This is a real quick working with decimals, percentages, and ratios. Okay, so uh, we want to try to just identify the fact that decimals, percentages, and ratios. All right, this is my decimals, this is going to be my percentages, and this is going to be my ratios. And I'm going to start with a decimal of 0 0.2. Okay. 0 0.2 can also be written as a percentage. The percentage would be 20%. But I could also write that as a ratio, which would be 20 out of 100, or 2 out of 10. Now the reason that I'm doing this is I want you to identify the fact that all three of these represent the same number mathematically. It doesn't really change the number. Okay, it's context that would put it. If I'm talking about sale prices, I'm going to need to talk about I'm going to need to talk about percentages. If I'm talking about geometry and triangles, I really need to look at ratios. But if I'm talking about multiplying things out, then I need to put it in decimal format. So let's look at just another one and try to you know, drive this home. Okay, so here's the number. 30%. Well, as a ratio, that's almost pretty easy because that's either 30 over 100 or I could simplify that and I could say it's 3 out of 10. But as a decimal, it actually gets interesting and I get 0 0.33 repeating. So here, all of a sudden, we end up with a slightly different scenario. Now we can also talk about accuracy. This one here no matter how much you type it in, you're always cutting it off. So you're killing some of your accuracy and precision. But 30% is almost like used to telling the calculator we are talking about a ratio or a fraction, which is not estimated. That is exact. And beyond here, I can't simplify this anymore. That's as simple as I do. And as soon as I try to turn this ratio, this fraction, into a decimal, I have sacrificed and given up some accuracy. Okay? So if it says exact value, chances are we're talking about fractions in its simplest form. Okay. So here's one more example. No, I'm going to skip the last example. I just want you to try the... Here's the same three columns. Boom. Boom. Here's your decimals, here's your percentages, and here's your ratios, which we might as well also call fractions. Fraction. Okay. So anyway, here you go. So if I were to give you a 27%, and I were to give you a 12 over 100, and I were to give you a 0 0.34. Try to fill out the missing parts of this box by converting these things between decimals, frac ratios, and fractions. So in this first one, what is the decimal and what is the ratio? In the second one, what is the percentage and what is the decimal? In the third one, what is the percentage and what is the ratio? I just want you to get the idea that I can put these numbers in any of these formats and the number stays the same. I'm using it for context based on the problem that I'm actually working on. All right? Have fun. Good luck.